the Torbion, the gravity counteracting, mesmerising, much coveted Grand Dam of Hurtorology. While its usefulness in wristwatches has been debated for decades, there is one thing that generally isn't up for debate. A Torbion is expensive. Then there's the even more rarefied full sapphire case. Less useful than Abraham Louis Breguet's invention, but thanks to the unrestricted views of the inner workings it offers, no less mesmerising. Also, very expensive. Up until now, only the likes of Bell and Ross, Grobel Forzi, Gérard Perigot, Richard Mille, H. Mosin Rebellion have dared combine the two. Until, that is, this, the Aventi A11. I'm Sam from Oracle Time, and I'm here to talk you through what is possibly the most affordable piece of hot horology on the market. The term industry disruptors is used all too often, to a worryingly painful degree. These two timepieces, however, are one of the few times it's actually true, in part thanks to the fact that they're backed by six years of experience and partnerships within the watchmaking world. Created by the Hong Kong-based Aventi, these two A11 watches, one in clear sapphire and another in royal blue, take their aesthetic inspiration from the angular lines of hypercars. In fact, the sharp lines could be taken straight from a Lamborghini Aventador, and the unique case shape, which is milled from a single piece of sapphire, is more akin to a V12 engine block than a traditional wristwatch. Pair this with cutting edge materials that would be equally at home on the track, and you have a timepiece designed for those who live life in the fast lane. Despite the size, a less than streamlined 55.5 by 48 millimeters, the A11s wear incredibly well. The lightweight design, when paired with the integrated silicon strap and titanium clasp, ensure the fit is comfortable, though at 13mm tall don't expect to slip under your cuff. A dress watch it is not. The movement inside is held in place by titanium bridges, but is otherwise completely skeletonized, a perfect match for the transparency of the case. In the blue sapphire version, the titanium movement is coated in black to enhance the case colour, while on the clear version the metal is simply brushed to create a monochromatic look, in contrast with the gold hands. The calibre is also from Hong Kong, courtesy of PTS Resources, who comply with ISO 9000 standards. Inside you have 22 joules and a heart beating at 28,800 Hz. The handrail movement may lack the finishing of its horology peers, but it's handsome nonetheless. It's impossible to talk about the movement without mentioning the star of the show, the Torbion. It dominates 3 o'clock, while twin barrels take up most of the residual space thanks to the ample 72 hour power reserve. Perhaps the biggest USP of the A11 is the price. At just 5,000 US dollars for the clear sapphire, and 9,800 dollars for the blue, they are a fraction of the cost of other watches in the same sphere. Sure, Aventi may lack the heritage, the finishing, and the refinement of the more traditional watchmakers, the main elements are certainly there. As long as you don't go in expecting a Breguet level tourbillon and finishing to make Carrie Vuitton and blush, you'll be more than happy with the Aventi A11. Just don't go expecting attainable to mean easy to get. Currently, the A11 is sold out in both colours until mid-winter due to small batches built at a time. With prices like these, high demand and low production makes for a surprisingly exclusive watch. It does have to be said that the pieces you're seeing now are prototypes. I've been assured that there are some improvements in production models, including a sapphire crown to match the case, silver rather than blue screws in the movement, a shorter band and a slimmer buckle. There may be more changes coming in the future, as Aventi may be small, but they are manoeuvrable. Ultimately, I have to admit that this is not something I would wear on a regular basis. That though is a personal stylistic choice, and if the occasional called for something incredibly over the top, the A11 is certainly a talking piece. It's also hard to ignore the sheer level of watchmaking that Aventi are offering for the money, making serious high watchmaking attainable. That alone deserves some kudos. Thanks for watching, and let us know your thoughts on the A11 in the comments, and more importantly, which colour you would go for. As ever, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with the latest watch news and reviews.